Once a year, the quiet town of Okeechobee, Florida is visited by a different kind of cowboy. He doesn't rope and wrangle cattle. Instead, he rounds up blood. He has his boots and his lasso at all times, and so Hemoglobin Harry has been our mascot. This is Hemoglobin Harry's Corral, the freshman auditorium in the heart of downtown Okeechobee, where Florida's Blood Center sets up this annual blood drive. There's not a lot of people in this community to speak of compared to small towns, and we need to give blood so that, you know, we can have it. For six years in a row, Ray Dusinger has been Hemoglobin Harry's sidekick. I just feel giddy. <laughs> it is so, so perfect. And, and in a small town like this, most are friends. And either they know you or they know somebody who knows you. And it's just a party. The Okeechobee Blood Roundup truly is a community event. In addition to the hundreds of people who physically donated blood, dozens of local companies donated money time or products. It's just such an incredible community. They're tied together and Ray is able to bring everybody together in a spirit of helpfulness and the whole community turns out for the Okeechobee Roundup. Okeechobee is famous for community support and it shows here today. A, good, a lot of good people flowing in and out of here and real good volunteers doing the work here. It's, uh, you know, a nice event, you get to, you know, feel like you're making a difference and having a good time at the same time. Yeah. Plus, this year there's a competition to see which organization can rustle up the most donors. But the real winners are the patients in the local hospitals who receive the blood collected. And that's something these donors can relate to. My son was in an accident five, six years ago, and from then on I've tried to donate blood. My husband did. My husband has uh, died almost uh, eight years ago. but at when he was in the hospital for six weeks before his death, he used 36 units of blood. He had two massive bleeds that they couldn't find and they couldn't stop and they were just pouring it in as fast as it was coming out. And that helped. We hoped it would turn the trick. It didn't happen to. But if there hadn't been donors, we wouldn't have even had the hope. And it's something that is so important. Together, Florida's blood centers and Hemoglobin Harry wrangled more than 500 units of blood and helped save more than 1,500 lives at the 6th Annual Okeechobee Blood Roundup. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.